Oregon. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Across midfield. Locked down right around the 32-yard line. He carried that one for a huge game. You know what? You can see the ball carrier showcase his speed. Once he got into the open field, he just turned on the Jets and flew. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Two yard line. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. Third and 12. Ball on the 24. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Ready, hot, light and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Call it a loss of six yards. That brings him second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. That brings up third and goal. Ball on the 18. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Air Force is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Beavers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Tackle around the 47-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Go 
from their own 47 yard line. It's first down. Three down, three down. Watch 14, watch 14. Black line, watch black line. And they make the stop at around the 50. Throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Fires it out, and he's immediately tackled. Accepted. He's in the open field. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Falcons. Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and a return for the score. Tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He sails it low. He's tackled at the 17-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Crunch time, defense. Mike six. Mike ten two. Boom. Go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds at the twelve. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Three down, three down. Mike thirty six. Mike thirty six. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Red, two, three, kill, kill, kill. Yellow, three. Yellow, three. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. Mike, Mike six. Mike six. Check, 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 check. Thank you. Three, nine. Touchdown, Beavers. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. Five play, 75 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now 10 7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Falcons really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. We're about set to start things up again. Air Force has a three-point lead. Go. 
He makes it to the 28-yard line. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 10-7, Air Force. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Gain of one on the play. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Yard line. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. He gets out to about the 45-yard line, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Made at the 48-yard line. Three yards. Four. Here we go. One hot. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. Down around the 38 yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. First and 10. Ready, three, ball nine. on the 38. Three, Tailback brought down for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. And this play is number eight on the drive. Air Force is up by three. Ready, green and, and he makes it to about the 37 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. play, being ready for the pass and swatting it away. It hits and it hits the upright. No good. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Ready! Tackle after a decent run up the That's a game of four on the That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 41 yard line. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 49. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Three down. Three down. Three down. Watch 36. Green nine. Green nine. Go. Nice run. And he's brought down. That'll bring up second and Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They run it left, and he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. 
Quick throw, and he's got the tight end again. And he's taken down at the 31. Number 23 on the tackle at the 31-yard line. That brings up second and one. Oregon State will take their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's a quick throw. This one will fall incomplete. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. for a loss. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And the goal line defense digging in here. down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's to the 40. That's a great tackle at the 48. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Air Force holds a field goal lead. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. This is the time to open up your playbook and do something unpredictable. So I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish right here. He scrambled. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Out of bounds at the 49. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it six and two. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. 10-7, Falcons. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver.
And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Air Force is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Wants to throw outside. Man wide open, and it's a tight end. And he's level at the 32-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Off to the right. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. Watch the tight. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lane. And there were no running lanes because his defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. on the play. That's a nice completion. But give the defense a lot of credit. They weren't fooled at all. They were able to hold him to a short game. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Green eye, green eye. Run, 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 run. And they don't get the first. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Air Force is up a field goal. They bring him down in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Second down and 14. Ball on the 18-yard line. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. Situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. And this one is a beauty. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he hits him hard at the 22. So the sack makes this a second and long. Fly. Incomplete. Almost picked off. 
The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. They're coming after this punter. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 44-yard line. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Air Force has a three-point lead. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. for a defense's mindset and to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. That will that reduce his pickup. From the 40-yard line, first down. Looking for the corner, and they get nice yardage on that run. Here we go! And he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Air Force is up by three. Ready, right. Right. Just throws this one away. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he got it. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Number three, Number three with the, with the tackle, tackle at the 47 yard line. line. First, First down. down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down around the 43 yard line. Number 13, Number 13 brings, brings him down, down to the 43 yard line. First down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Watch 14. Black Watch 14. five, black five. Blue four. Ocean. Blue six. He's tackled around the 26 yard line. That's a game of 17. That makes, that makes it first, first and 10. 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 
The Falcons in front by six. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Three down, three down. Mike, three, six. Red, two. Six. Kill, kill. And he throws it away. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. hit immediately. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. Wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. Almost picked off. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Air Force with a six-point lead. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 18. Runs it left for a decent game. That's good for a five yards. Red, Red, 68! Red, 68! As a man, he'll lose big yards. That's a loss of five yards. That makes, makes it fourth and 12. He's taken down at the 46. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. About five yards that time on the throw. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play. That's always a good game. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Dog four. Blue four. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 40. Gain of nine yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike, 36. Just under three to go in regulation. Black five. Green hit. Open field. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a plan. That makes it second and eight. From the 38 yard line, second down. Watch 36. 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three, go! Orange three! 
He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 30. He heaves it to the end zone. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down and very long. And behind in this ball game in the fourth quarter, they've got to have this one. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Oregon State's quarterback, you know, typically doesn't make a mistake in that situation. Well, sometimes you, you take a chance, and sometimes you become the hero, and sometimes you become the GOAT. This time, it, it didn't work out for him. He'll be able to learn from this and move forward. Nice run, and he's brought down. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. From their own 31-yard line. Second down, just under two to go in the game. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. The Beavers are going to call their second timeout. Here we go! Green 19! Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Loss of about two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. the 27. Oregon State's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on their own 28. Here we go, here we go. Red seven, red seven. Oh, shit. Fires out to his wide end. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, red, two. They go. Green, nine. And down he goes at the 38. Easy, easy. Blair, Blair. Under a minute left in the game. And he stops the clock with a spike. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Roger, Roger. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Watch the flip. Watch the flip. And two. Go. Kill, kill, kill. Call it again. Yellow three. Yellow three. Red two, green 15. Go! Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And the ball game's 
game's over. The Falcons come out on top, 13-7. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.